just love you, just loves you. So I heard again on the Christian radio station <laughs> that uh, we need to start believing what God says about us, and He says that we're new creations. All right, and 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 we need to stop thinking we're unworthy. Like we need to believe what God says that we're worthy, we're new creations, we're Christ's righteousness. Okay, there's a there's a list of things to do <laughs> if you want that. Like that's like saying like this dead animal over here is really a rainbow. No, it's a dead animal. If it turns into a rainbow, then I'll say it's a dead animal that turned into a, like it now it's a rainbow. It turned into a rainbow. But if it's still a dead animal, you don't call it a rainbow. That doesn't change what it is. <laughs> Practical holiness, people. There's something you have to do. You have to seek with all your heart, and then you'll find Jesus. Then you won't feel unworthy. Then you will be a new creation. You will live holy. So when you repent, turn away from your sin, give your life to Jesus, you're born again, then you're a new creation, and it's obvious. Can you tell the difference between a dead animal and a rainbow? The reason people are feeling so unworthy is because they're not a new creation. <laughs> like, you don't just believe. That's like, you know, you take a, uh, a manual for fixing a car, and you use, you know, where it's talking about the transmission, you try to fix the exhaust system, like, it or whatever. You know, it's just ridiculous. Like, you have to read the whole Bible. Like, first you get saved, then you're a new creation, then you're worthy. And most of the time, if you're feeling like you're not saved, it's God trying to save you because he loves you. Love you, Jesus loves you.